Hey gamers, welcome, welcome to another a New Sky video. I hope that everybody is doing absolutely fantastic today. And in today's video, I want to show you guys where you can find a very small companion. And you just saw it come up a little bit on the screen and it kind of threw me off just for a second there. But um, it looks kind of, well, I found it over on the Cordon Exchange over on Reddit. I thought it was pretty cool. I had a ton of uh, likes on it, so I thought I would uh, check it out and give it a a find myself and um they labeled it as a pet kitten but it kind of does look like a dog as well but it is a very 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 small i mean this is the creature right here and if we actually go into like photo mode and we can hide the menu here this thing is incredibly tiny i mean this is this is it i mean it pretty much only goes up to your knees and this is what the creature looks like now this isn't the one that I had adopted and it looks like it's a little ferocious, but I assure you that it's not. But yeah, you can kind of see they label it as a cat. It looks like a devil cat or a small dog. To me, it kind of reminds me of a beagle a little bit, not going to lie. But um, I have mine. I don't know where mine went. I have no clue. It just ran off. <laughs> it's doing its own thing. But we're on this absolutely beautiful paradise moon. And it's in Euclid, and I will give you guys the coordinates just in case you want to be able to grab this this creature for yourself. So, okay, it um, it left some dong. Wonderful. That that's a wonderful gift that you guys uh, gave to me. Thank thanks very much for that. There you go. There's my little guy right there. But anyway, let's get into the rest of today's video. Now, before I go ahead and give you guys the portal address, I do want to say that this discovery was posted by Scotty300872, so shout out to him. You guys can find out his post over on the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange if you would like on Reddit. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the portals. Number one, you do have to have access to a portal or at least have found one. I have this one labeled as a base, so I can actually come here and whenever I would like to. And this is pretty much where I come almost every time I need to use a portal. And the second thing you need to do is have access to all 16 glyphs. I'm not really going to get into what you need to do in order to get those 16 glyphs, but you do have to have all of them if you want to be able to go most places. This also is in the starting galaxy. I'm pretty sure that I actually said it a little bit ago, but um, this thing is very small, so you'll have to be a little bit patient if you don't find it right away. But anyway, let's get into the address so that you guys can make your way over there and let's go and activate the portal and we're gonna go moon we're gonna do sunrise the dragonfly the rocket ship the atlas we got the tp the dinosaur we got the tree or the flux capacitor we have the fish or the whale we have the anomaly then we have the boat then we have the galaxy and that is going to be your coordinates. Now, I'm just gonna let it do its thing and you guys will see me just traveling there. Now, the really nice thing about this post specifically is you don't even have to get into your ship in order to find one of these creatures. You're gonna be landing on a paradise moon and for the time that I have spent on that moon, I haven't encountered any weather. That doesn't mean that there isn't any. I just haven't experienced any for myself. So hopefully there is no weather and you guys can just get here. Also in the distance during the day and even at night, you can actually see the neighboring planet. It looks absolutely amazing. There is a wrecked ship very close to the portal that I discovered and also a deposit of runaway mold. So somebody could potentially make themselves a base nearby if they really, really wanted to. Um, I don't remember exactly what the coordinates were for those things, but uh, let's see, the moon is, or the planet, let's see, we're, I can't even see the planet right now. There it is. I actually went in that direction. So if you guys want to be able to know exactly where I went and the plot that I took to find it, you can actually head that way. And I ran, like I said, I ran across the ship first and then the mold the second, the runaway mold second. So all you need to really do is get on top of a hill so you guys can kind of see for a little bit and then just pull out your scanner and then look for any of the creatures. Obviously, when you first get in here, you will not have the little green above their head but you will have the red dot so just go ahead and scan them and then just 
go ahead and check it out. Now, there's a lot of interesting creatures. Obviously, there are on pretty much any system and any planet here in No Man's Sky. But, yeah, you'll just have to kind of check what uh, what you're actually scanning. So, that looks like that's one of those creatures over there. And I had scanned it without realizing that I had scanned it. And then I had ran off. And I didn't... I mean, I saw the picture of it over on Reddit, and it was really, really tiny, but I was not expecting it to barely be seen out of the brush. So you might scan it. I would just go and check that specific creature to find out if that's the one that you were looking for. But that's all you guys really need to know. It's a nice short video here in No Man's Sky. If you want more videos like this one, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.